Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Venza Hybrid LE. Now the most notable features on this LE is its seated front seats. You also have your lane departure alert and backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Venza Hybrid LE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this hybrid LE is its daytime running lights. And then if you take a closer look, just over on the side you have the 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels, integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors, and heated mirrors. And if you take a look on the inside, you'll find your blind spot on the indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just literally in there's another vehicle right beside you. Smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push it on once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. This is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now, taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your cloth interior. Power driver's seat with lumbar support, power tilt telescopic steering wheel, along with that you'll find your automatic high beams, traction control on and off, window wiper de-icer, power lift gate release, power folding mirrors, mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, Bluetooth connectivity, volume control, voice recognition. Lane departure alert, cruise control, mode select, and seek function. Now, it does offer the push button start, so you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and we'll start up for you automatically. And taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if we take a closer look, you have a digital speedometer. Distance to empty, fuel economy, you can also go through and take a look at the lane departure alert, audio, trip info with the energy monitor, tire pressure monitoring, lane trace assist, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on or off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features and you'll finish with your messages menu. Taking a look at the center dash area, as you can see, if you go inside the menu screen, you'll find your audio phone apps as well as a couple of other additional features. With the apps menu, it's part of the Intune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Scout GPS app, which allows you to stream your maps from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. Sirius XM satellite radio, hazard lights, dual zone climate control settings. Along with that, you'll find your USB and auxiliary input, just located at the back there, with your wireless charging pad on and off. So once you have it turned on, you can just place your phone on top and have it start charging for you. EV mode with your drive mode, and it's matted to a automatic transmission. Heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. And then if you take a closer look up top, you have your SOS Connect with your light controls. And then if you take a closer look just at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there, making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. And you can also change up the backup camera view to a more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view you're used to. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back, you'll find the backup camera and the rear hatch release just located underneath the Toyota emblem. Push on the button once and it'll open up for you automatically. Closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you do have the cargo cover in the back, which is great because you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place. And the nice thing is if you need more additional space, you can fold down that 60-40 split rear seat by pulling on one of the two tabs that you see up top. Now, taking a look underneath the floor, you're going to find your spare tire as well as your jack and toolkit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. The other nice thing is that you do have a power adjustable tailgate, so if you hold down the button for approximately two seconds, the height you'd like it at, it'll beep a couple of times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. A couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter, or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. 
Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.